Welcome back to the Plugged In Podcast. It's your boy Showbo Show Beasy. Uh, we are back here again with another episode. So, um, first, before I go any further, I do want to thank everybody that's been showing love to the channel and to the podcast. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely appreciated. And um, if you are looking for a way to support the channel and the podcast, the best thing you can do, um, the easiest thing you can do, and the free thing you can do is to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I wanted to kind of follow up on the last video that I did because um, there were still some things that I wanted to touch on, but uh, I didn't want to make that video too long. So um, I'm just kind of going to continue on now, you know, with where I left off at with the last video. Um, what a time to be alive with cryptocurrency right now, man. So with Dogecoin, um, it's trading right now in the last time I checked uh, in the low 50s. Uh, it was 52, uh, 50, bouncing up and down between 50 and 52 last time that I checked it when this video was made. So I don't know what it's doing currently as you're watching it. Uh, it might be higher, it might be lower, but that's the general area that it was. Me personally, I'm holding on to my Dogecoin. Um, the reason why is because I am waiting to see what happens when Elon Musk uh, is on Saturday Night Live when that episode airs. And I'm very intrigued to see what the outcome is going to be, what the reaction is going to be um, from that. You know, there's really only three possibilities, in my opinion, that are going to happen. Um, I feel like Dogecoin with that extra push and kind of getting in front of an audience that it's not necessarily always in front of is either going to shoot up and break that 69 cent record uh, that it just recently made or it's going to fall off hard um, or the third option is it could find like its sweet spot to stabilize in hopefully somewhere between you know the 40s and the 60s that's wishful thinking I don't know what it would be but find a sweet spot to stabilize in um so that's why i'm going to be monitoring that situation you know what i'm saying very heavily i'm gonna have my eyes glued on it but i know a lot of people that are watching this video right now have been kind of thinking you know what is their what's what's the next step they're gonna make you know as far as with dogecoin and uh, like i said me personally i'm holding um but i know at some point in time you know, I will be taking some profit out of it um, just because it is a, a short term uh, type of crypto. Um, so some point in time, I'm going to be pulling out some of the profits from it. Uh, so if you're somebody that's kind of in that same scenario to, that, you know, sometime um, in the near future that you're going to be pulling some profits out of it, but you're not kind of you're not really sure what you want to do or what your next move should be. Um, I just kind of want to share some of the thoughts that I'm having and what I plan on doing. I'm big into stocks. I'm heavy into stocks. Um, I'm more so a stock guy than a crypto guy. I, I, I deal with both of them, but I'm heavier on the stock side. I probably have about 80% uh, of my portfolio is stocks. 20% of it is crypto. I'm going to probably use that money that I pull out of it to actually reinvest again um grab some stocks and then also reinvest it into crypto uh because i'm going to reinvest it into ethereum and bitcoin why ethereum and bitcoin so the reason why is because ethereum and bitcoin both are more long-term plays and the reason why i say that is because ethereum and crypto and ethereum and bitcoin you're going to hold those for years. Um, they're not short term like how some of the meme coins and altcoins are. Uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin are here to stay. Uh, so and even with Ethereum, it's, you know, and I kind of dug into that with the last videos. If you haven't watched the last video, definitely go ahead and check it out. We'll put the uh, link to that in the description if you haven't seen, if you haven't saw the last video that I made. Uh, where I dug into Ethereum a little deeper and explained why it's at its all-time high right now, at least my opinion. Um, so, But part of that boom that you're seeing with Ethereum right now is because 
big institutions and big corporations, they've actually invested into Ethereum. Now, we in 2021, we are used to hearing that and seeing those headlines about Bitcoin, um, where you're seeing these large institutions um, buying millions and even sometimes billions of Bitcoin. So now these large corporations and institutions are doing the same thing with Ethereum. And you have to remember this also when I talk about um, long term things with Ethereum and Bitcoin is that Ethereum has a, uh, has a platform um, that is pretty much here to stay with what they're doing with NFTs. And they haven't even uh, some of the other things that it's able to do ha haven't even really been introduced on a large scale yet. So with Bitcoin, Bitcoin has pretty much been solidified as a store of value. And that's what a lot of these institutions and corporations are buying it for. And now there's, you know, you're hearing these places that are going to be releasing these ETFs that are going to be backed by Ethereum and also backed by Bitcoin. So um, honestly, with Bitcoin, I don't think that we'll see Bitcoin slide under 30,000 ever again. Um, I think where it's at now is kind of in a comfort zone to where it's only going to go higher. Um, with, and with Ethereum, I think it's the same thing. I don't think we'll ever see Ethereum under 1500 again. Um, so those are the, those are the two cryptos. The and it makes sense. They're the one and two. They're the number one and number two in the, in the crypto world. And those are the ones that are pretty much solidified. So those are the ones that I'm going to invest heavy into for um, long term. And you also you have to remember there is a limited supply. You know, so with Bitcoin, um, you know, there's gonna there's gonna come a point where you're not going to be able to just buy Bitcoin as easily as you are right now. It's not going to be as accessible in the, I would say, in maybe in the next three to five years, uh, just to throw a number out there, probably in the next three to five years, definitely 10 years, a decade from now, uh, you won't have the access that we have uh, so readily available for us right now to buy, uh, to buy Bitcoin. You know, it's going to be in limited supply so it's going to be it's going to be removed from some of these platforms i don't think you're just going to be able to get on robin hood or cash app or coinbase and buy bitcoin i think at some point in time they're going to remove it off these platforms and make it a little bit uh more difficult for people to get their hands on it because uh it's going to be a rarity right now me personally i just i'm using cryptocurrency as more of a investment vehicle if that makes sense um because it's something that you can use to actually build wealth, you know. So even with you buying Bitcoin at fifty-five thousand right now, if in three to five years, if it's at two hundred thousand, that was a, a a genius move that you made. So don't get too caught up in the moment right now of seeing how high Bitcoin is, and don't let that scare you away from it because. You got to remember, as time progresses, it's just going to get higher. It's going to get higher. So, um, you know, like I said, people are predicting it to hit 100,000, 200,000 before the end of the year, before the end of 2021. So just keep that in mind. Um, that's why I am going to get more heavily involved into both Ethereum and Bitcoin. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with you, you know, so do with that information as you may. Um, but I definitely think it's a good idea. I think it's something that I've been recommending to a lot of my uh, people that are in my inner circle. Um, so I want to make a video and actually touch on that and just kind of put a bug in your ear, um, give you a different uh, perspective. If that's not something that you've thought about or not something that you've um, looked into as far as possibilities of what you could do if you're going to have this additional uh, money coming from Dogecoin if you decide to pull it out at some point in time in the near future. So that's kind of what I wanted to touch on. The next video that I make about Dogecoin after Saturday um, has potential to be very interesting. You know what I mean? So we will see how that comes out. Uh, but like I said, again, thank you guys that have been watching these videos, that have been um, supporting the channel. Um, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. There will be more videos to come, so do not miss them. Um, other than that, I will see you very soon with the next video on the Plugged In Podcast. Show Beasy, we out.